crucial moment in this race. He is coming to the pits. Well, he's going to be jumped by quite a few drivers. I think he'll be behind Duncan Hoffland and Jake Benham. Certainly, after their tyres are up to temperature, here he is getting his car serviced. Jan Ortmir just headed now through turn number 16. He's in the wheel tracks of Daniele Haddad as they come down the start finish rate. Thomas Ronhar just exiting the pit lane. And what is going to be the delta between the pair of them? Jan Ortmir soaring his way through turn number two. Ronhar exiting the pit lane now, and he is right behind his rival. He is right behind his rival, Jan Ortmir, but on medium tyres, crucially enough, they will be the faster tyre. But not to mention, Jano has obviously got his up to temperature already. The question is, how quickly can Thomas Ronhar get his up to temperature? And not only that, dispatch the Flying Dutchman and make uh, serious inroads. We've got a huge battle for the back as well. Tommy Paradzic holding on to six. In comes McClavchich on the outside. Also through Jake Benham in on the inside. Oh, it's the All-Star looking to make a serious move. Duncan Offlin up into eighth as well, ahead of Chad Akinci with Luke Smith as well in the mix. It's a cluster of cars. A Galaxy as they head through this next left. In comes Jake Benham inside line again as he comes through turn nine. The Mercedes with a nose in front. He is in front just as on side by side with his Veloce counterpart. But Benham holds on to P6. Incredible battling that we are seeing here, but I don't believe it's over yet because look at the, the look at the difference between Jan Ortmir and Thomas Ronhar, just under two tenths of a second headed in towards turn number 16. They'll be beginning lap number 20 here. Look at the difference in pace between Ronhar and Jan Ortmir off the exit of the corner, surely down in towards turn number five. That's going to be prime opportunity for the Dutchman to make a move on his fellow countrymen as they head through turn number two and up through turn number three, right on the rear of the Mercedes. He has to look to the outside line. Thomas Ronhar, this could be the move that makes the championship. Jan Ortmir breaking later off the exit of the corner. Who's going to get the better run? It's going to be Thomas Ronhar utilizing the DRS. Here he comes in the wheel tracks of Jan Ortmir, defending to the inside line. Does the flying Duckman, Jan Ortmir, now feeling the pressure from Ronhar. They're catching Haddad in all of this as he's been boxed in. Had, Haddad has boxed in Thomas Ronhar. Thomas Ronhar can't go through. Surely now in towards turn number nine as they hit the DRS straight once again. Here he comes for the move for the championship. It's not going to happen at this point. Jan Ortmir valiant defense on Thomas Ronhar here on lap number 20. Brilliant racing from these two great champions, two of them that are contesting for the F1 Esports title as well. But here tonight, the WR Esports Championship is being contested here in the PC tier, the top tier of racing, where you see the best in week in, week out, here on your screens on every Sunday night. We'll watch them here live right now around Yas Marina. It is Jana Watmir in third place. Thomas Ronhar is title competitor right on his rear wing as they make their way down through towards turn one. Otmir defending to the inside again. Ronha looking to go side by side through turn one yet again. Not this time though. Or has he? Inside line with the pace and the grip of those medium tyres. They remain nose to tail, wheel to wheel, but not this time. Otmir shuts the door. More expertise in defence and here comes Jake Benham as well. Oh my word, and fair play from Jan Ortmi there. That was his corner. He had every right to push Thomas Ronhar out, but luckily they've not come to blows, and that is the main thing to keep to take away from here. Jan Ortmi crucially was just within that one second window that he needed for the DRS, as now in towards turn number six. Jake Benham in the mix up here. What can they do? Thomas Ronhar with the superior exit, now going to utilize the DRS, try and stick in the wheel tracks of Jan Ortmi. Where can Jake Benham slot in this fight? Can he try? and apply some pressure to the man in the house once again in towards turn number nine there's no sense of an opportunity for an overtake and every lap that he doesn't get by those medium tires begin to wither away Thomas Ronhar gonna be so frustrated in the cockpit they're being held up by Daniele Haddad and he's giving the DRS to Jan Ortmir and surely this is uh this is not what everyone expected at this point, but I'm loving every second here. Well, access denied, says Jano Otmir, not letting Thomas Ronhar through. It's every which way Thomas oh. Ronhar can find it. They come together once again as they head down towards turn one. Ronhar now being forced to remain in behind the rear wing of that Mercedes. Jano knows if he can keep him behind, make him use those tyres, make him wear the tread on that medium compound. Eventually his heart will be in better condition as they head down in towards turn 
turn five. Inside line again. Does Ron Hart go for it? He will. He'll go round here in turn five for the move for the Flying Dutchman. On the Flying Dutchman, Ron Hart up into third on track. He's finally done it. He's knocked on the door constantly. But Omnia already getting in his slipstream. In comes Jake Benham as well. Ron Hart defence to the inside. Omnia trying everything he can to bring back the position. Oh. He can't find it. Benham through goes Benham. Benham up into fourth as well. The two Mercedes switching it up. Perantis also getting ahead of Jana Watmir too. And here comes Jake Benham looking to the inside of the house. It's towards Samuel 9. There's contact between the pair of them. Jake Benham forcing his way through. Here comes now Tommy Perantis trying to make the move on Ron Hart. I do not believe what I am seeing. But Jake Benham has slotted himself up the inside of Thomas Ron Hart. And he's made that move stick in pretty scrappy fashion.